So I guess I have a few different styles. One of them that I'd say came first or came before the others because it's just easier to doodle. Uh, so there's easier and more frequent opportunities to use it. Um, is a sort of uh, symbols uh, or more of a hieroglyphic type of uh, design that doesn't really have any rhyme or reason or pattern that it follows uh, and it can mold into any different shape, canvas, size. Uh, it gets very detailed and very specific and very, a lot of fine edges and uh, what I try to attempt at perfect circles um, and designs within those circles. Um, but I don't know where it came from, it's just it just came out and it's kind of developed over, I don't know, I guess over the course of 33 years because I've been sketching a version of it my whole life. Sometimes I put it on sneakers. Uh, I, I don't know, my brain works this way when, when I have a pen or a marker in my hand. So um, that's, I'd say it's one of my favorite styles, but some days it's not. And some days it, that one doesn't come out as easily as some of the other ones because that one's more, um, it's more focused to have to like have the marker and have to press against the, the medium and it's more it's slower and it's focused uh, and sometimes I feel more uh, I feel like it's too limiting I feel more expressive and I need to like get my the rest of my body involved in the painting and that's where some of the other styles come into play uh, that's a little more uh, of a drip or a splash and sometimes a straight up throwing uh, painting and, and getting a little messier with it um, which is you know which is where my art was limited before, because I was just doing things on my desk, in my house, uh, trying to stay neat. And it wasn't until I was able to work in a space where I felt I could be a little messier that this came out and developed further. And now that I have that, it's, that's, I gravitate towards that version of it a lot, uh, especially painting outside. It allows me to be outside uh, in, my, in my yard and I could just circle the painting and walk around it and, and kind of feel like I'm actually putting emotion and energy uh, like sometimes literal like force of the paint splattering and uh, throwing it it feels more much more interactive than the other ones but sometimes I'm in a space where I just want to throw on a book or throw on some music and get very focused and fine um, so I guess it depends on the mood on that given day you know I do think art is a form of definitely a form of expression but also communication I this is this is my medium this is my way to you know I, I'm not necessarily a writer or a, there, there's not too many ways that I have to express my, my thoughts and what's happening and my emotions and what ha what's happening inside uh, outwardly. And this, this has been one of the, or a few of the different paths that I've found through my designs and through my paintings where I can feel genuine about what's coming out.